6.0, oh, that's actually a really good number. Usually when my blood sugar is under 7.0, oh, like my fasting blood sugar, I'm able to eat a little more in the morning. If it was higher, I would be just eating something smaller until the blood goes down. Uh, anyways, I'm having two of the Wasa crackers, which are almost gone. I think I've eaten close to the whole package already. Yeah, I've got maybe four, three or four crackers left in there. And I've got peanut butter on each of them, probably about a tablespoon or a little less on each. And I'm going to have an orange. These are the eggs that I picked up yesterday morning at the variety store. So I plan on making um, a big batch of egg salad and then I'm going to make, from that big batch, I'm going to take a little bit of it and make a small batch of potato salad. Pretty excited. It's going to be good. We're getting low on fresh produce, so I figured this would be a nice little thing to make, and that way it's, you know, two nights of meals and maybe a lunch here or there. My mom really loves egg salad sandwiches. I have celery... Uh, pickles that I'm going to make into a relish and then green onions. I think that's it. Oh and then obviously the mayonnaise. I've got light mayonnaise. I've got seven eggs in there. I wasn't sure how many to cook um, but I figure since I'm doing potato salad seven should be enough. I'm kind of wondering if I should do eight. I want to reserve some eggs so I can make my mom some cookies this weekend. I think I'll make oatmeal raisin or peanut butter, but I hope she'll eat the oatmeal raisin just because it's healthier. I think I'll put one more in there. There we go. So eight eggs. That should be plenty. For the potatoes, I was thinking I would just throw them in the steamer and then once they cool, I can cut them up and sort of make the potato salad. I've got the potatoes peeled and I'm going to cut them in half so they cook a little bit quicker. Now I didn't want to waste all that electricity on the steamer just for two little potatoes, well two big potatoes. Um, so I figured I would steam my mom some spinach and it expired yesterday, uh, however it, it still looks quite good. So yeah, I'm going to let her have this with, um, this kind of sounds weird having spinach with an egg salad sandwich but she won't mind. She loves her spinach. She puts a lot of vinegar on it and then I put butter and salt. So yeah, one of her favorites. She was from, um, she was born in Nova Scotia and that's where she grew up and I don't know, they always had spinach with vinegar on it. They say once it comes to a boil like this to let it go for about two minutes and then take it off the heat for 12. Got it off the heat there, and I've got the timer set for 12 minutes. Since it's the end of the week, I'm doing my best to go through all the food I have and try and make sure I don't waste anything. My goal is to go back to the market on Sunday and just go once a week. Uh, so yeah, these tortillas, I think there are four or five left, and they expire on the 24th. So I don't have anything left to make the wraps, but what I'm going to do is cut them into little pieces and bake them in the oven and like make a homemade tortilla chip. And then I have salsa in the cupboard, so dip it in salsa. I think it'll be pretty delicious and definitely healthier than, you know, tortilla chips in a bag. Okay, I finally got it done. So I got the celery and green onions and then pickles that I cut up into tiny pieces and it's pretty much like relish and the eggs and I'm using the low fat or the light mayonnaise and I've got the potatoes over there and the bread ready to go um, my mom's getting hungry so I'm gonna mix this up and make it right now she's got her spinach as for the mayo, I think I'll be putting in um, 
not quite one third of a cup. We'll have to see. I'll give it a try. I'm actually going to measure it out. It's a little less than one third. It's probably going to be plenty. There's the mixture there. I've already made a sandwich for my mom. Looks good. And I have way too many ingredients left over. So I am going to make that small batch of potato salad and I might add some more of these in there. We'll see. I've got some egg salad mixture in here and that'll be for my mom's sandwiches. I'm thinking it'll make maybe two to three sandwiches. And then I put one potato in here. I'm not sure if that's enough or not. Con you know, with the mixture. So I'm going to stir it up and add more potatoes if it needs it because I still have one more that I can cut up. So I ended up adding another potato to it and I ended up using most of the ingredients as well. Had a little taste and it's delicious.